Greetings, everyone. Albert Lawrence here. This is the IMDb Show, and we're joined today by Emmy-nominated Matthew McFadden. Congrats, Matthew. Thank you very much. How did it feel to find out that it's going to be a total succession-style fight to the death for you and your castmates in just about every category? I will win. <laughs> it was. It felt very nice. It really did. You know, the real, the real fun of any job is the doing of it, and so this is just the, like the cherry on the top. Like a Tom Sunday with a with a little Greg cherry on top. Oh. Perfect. What did you personally learn about Tom during season two that you actually hadn't picked up, up yet during season one? Oh, I, I think I learned something about him every episode. I mean, even though he's ridiculous and he's horrendous sometimes and he does dreadful things, I sort of, I really believe him. I believe all the characters. I think that's the, that's the testament to the writing. But I think essentially he's quite a, he's quite a good guy. I mean, he's got, you know, we met his mum and dad at the end of season oh, yeah. one, and they're really sweet. Tommy, <laughs> yeah. your mother's a little thirsty. Right. Mommy, you thirsty? I don't want to be a trouble, Tommy. Yeah, I think he's had a nice upbringing and something, <laughs> something happened in the Roy <laughs> family along the way, I don't know. I am going to be marrying into one of the most kind and loving families in the world. Are you not going to be marrying Shiv anymore? <laughs> now, uh, I, I want to also talk about another role that you're getting much acclaim for. I heard that wearing false teeth helped you to get into character for Quiz. My strategy has, has worked so far. So what article or prop or piece of clothing helps you to get into character for Tom when it's time to go on as him? Um, I think a suit is always really good. And then I think whenever I put, whenever I put on a turtleneck, I feel very Wamsgans. I think it's the Thanksgiving episode. I've got a pair of sort of gray shiny slacks and this black turtleneck. I think Tom thinks he looks like James Bond, but I, I look like a sort of demented mime artist. So do you think it's gonna be okay? Oh yeah, this is a nowhere worse Thanksgiving. But I, that makes me feel very Tom, so yeah. That's the equivalent of Major Charles Ingram's teeth. Is this cheating? It certainly feels like cheating. No, it's giving an advantage to myself. We also know that Succession is never running low on zingers. There is an absolutely iconic phrase that emerged from this past season. You can't make a Tomlet without breaking some Greggs. Yeah. So are, what are your plans to have that embroidered somewhere or maybe tattooed on you? Because I just feel like <laughs> that's one that's going to follow you around for a long time. Yeah, it's a good one. Eric goes and says it in the Senate hearings, but there was a scene that was cut when I go around to Greg's apartment where I sleep in his bed and I make him sleep on the floor. And, that, and that's when I said that line from his bed. Oh. I know, so that's somewhere on the cutting room floor. On behalf of all the fans, I hope that that scene somehow emerges and that we get a chance to see yeah, you too. actually do that. You always wanted to make it public, didn't you? Yes, yeah, in my bones, I did. Exactly but I did then destroy all the evidence. So now before we wrap up, it's time for us to play a quick little game. Let's call this one phone a family member. So we're talking about the actors who play your in-laws on Succession, the Roys. So I'm going to give you a scenario and then you tell me which of your castmates you would call for help. Gotcha, okay. Which castmate would you call if you wanted some fashion advice? Fashion advice? Yeah. <laughs> I think I would call Nick. He's a very stylish guy. We shot the last episode in Croatia last summer, and he turned up in a pair of white Birkenstocks with white socks. He, he just looked super cool. That, that's a bold move, Matthew, because socks and sandals, everybody can't pull that off. <laughs> no, yeah, a lot of people would be led away. Look at you. <laughs> Which castmate would you call if you had to work on an accent for a role? Um, Sarah and I are the only ones who do accents in the show. Sarah's Australian. We have accent days where we just can't do the American accent. I would love to see you and Sarah just trying to get those accents yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really hard. So we have to sort of go off and go, okay, how do you, how do you, how, how do you talk, how do you talk? It's really hard. You're the only one I can talk to about this stuff. So which castmate are you calling if you just need a quick laugh? Probably Karen. Karen's very funny and very quick. Very acerbic um, and sort of fearless in his humor. Why is everybody laughing? <laughs> Which castmate will you call if you want to learn to play the Succession theme song for a cast and crew talent show? I would probably call Jeremy Strong. He can sort of do anything. And after seeing his rap performance, I would probably give him a ring. L to the OG. 
dude be the OG A and he playing. All those reactions that you see of us with our jaws swinging are all real because we hadn't rehearsed that. <laughs> and so we were all for real, totally gobsmacked. Yeah, there was no acting there. It is burning my eyes, but I cannot look away. Well, Matthew, honestly, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. And now for everyone at home who hasn't already seen it, make sure that you catch up on Matthew's Emmy-nominated performance on Succession on HBO. It's absolutely fantastic. Yes, I personally, I like it. Great pleasure. Take care.